course I'll do a little bit of this in real time as well. Now, I did notice last night, I probably won't be able to find it now. Uh, where is it? There is parts of it, it might be, it is on, it's down here. The, um, the little symbols are really blurry. And you see how clear it is, the ends there, then the ones, and then these C's, it's not showing on camera, but the light fuzzy almost. Like, it's been it's been printed wrong basically, it's been printed wrong. I can still make it out what they are, but if you look there, and if you look at these G's, how clear they are. Um, I did have it, it was all in this area. As you can see, I managed to put the drills down. But yeah, that's just something something to mention that. Uh, I am working on it upside down now because the way that I like to do diamond paintings it doesn't matter the size and I've just realised there's one loose one there. It doesn't matter the size of the diamond painting. Um, I like to do the bottom and then do the top and then I'll do the edges and I'll leave the centre till last. That's just something I do, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just what I like to do. So like I said I was working on this for couple of hours last night and managed to finish that bottom section off and then started all this then added all the black as well. I'm hoping that the lighting is okay for you. It should be. <clears throat> it's raining. Yeah again. Good old break Great Britain. Always raining. <laughs> so I've got my two trays. I've got a black and a white. I just paint these with acrylic paint. And the Diamond Art Club trays, if you're wondering. You did get trays and stuff with this, but I just prefer, I'll be honest, the, the Diamond Art Club ones. Uh, I use this to pour my drills into when I've finished with them back into the containers. I got this with um, one of the storage sets. I don't know what you'd call it. Maybe a run rubber funnel. I know it looks funny, but it, it works for treats. It does the job. It does the job. Now, you might have seen in other little clips that I have issues uh, picking up diamonds out of the tray. Now, I've not had issues before ever doing that and I really did struggle. So I don't know if they're slightly smaller, these diamonds, or I, I don't know, I don't know. Because it's hit and miss. I tried the Quake Hold, which is like blue tack, in the end of this and it seems to have worked. Oh, I'm going to sneeze annoying that when it goes away then it'll come back soon uh, yeah so I did try the quake hold and it does work but it was leaving like a residue on these drills so I'm just using ordinary wax at the minute I'll just have to keep emptying it and reloading it a little bit more often than I would like <laughs> so I'm going to do some of these I won't do the C3 ones the glow in the dark ones because you won't be able to see them on camera so I'll have to do some of the fives which five should be five, it most certainly is. Let's find number five. So it's this purple colour. Pour these out. Yep, the rain is definitely coming down now and wind. And shake, shake. And then I like to put my hand at the bottom and then use that to tap and that's what creates the lines. Now I'm gonna move the canvas and just tilt it ever so slightly just to make it a little bit more comfortable for myself. Just so I'm not completely arching my back and I'll just bring you down just a little bit. I'm not doing it too much, I've learnt this now because I keep whacking the camera otherwise. So let's start off. We've got a three there and then we've got a four. So you don't necessarily have to just pick up five with the five place. So you can pick up one, two, three, four, five, it's up to you. I very rarely use the single place and I very rarely and that one you need to get there we go straighten that line up see now I'm going to have to use the straight uh, the single place set but I've learned another trick I've learned another trick and I'll purposely leave one empty so I can show you this trick that I'm talking about I'll finish the rest of these off first We've got a three there, another three. And then a five. So the trick that I learned, obviously they need single placing. And I was getting really annoyed with having to do that because it takes a lot, a, lot, a lot of time, especially with like areas like this, there's a lot of single colours. 
I guess that rain is coming down now. So with your multiplicer, pick one with one end up, and then the other side one. So you've got it like this. If the camera will focus, there's one on each end. The camera does not want to focus, but I promise you there's one on each end. And just pop them into place like that. Instead of doing it individually, that works just fine. So we've got a couple of five down here as well. So altogether, I'm enjoying this canvas. I am enjoying it. But there's just a couple of things. I mean, I don't want to say there's things that I'd change because I don't know how you change them or what you could do to make them different. I don't know. I mean, obviously, them fuzzy lines can be fixed with... Um, I will let them know and obviously they'll see this video so they'll know about the issues with, with some of the ink. Uh, I'm assuming not every canvas gets checked before leaving. So maybe they, maybe they should do some tester ones and then check them like a human check them to make sure there's no funny uh, and fu fuzzy uh, symbols because if I was struggling with my eyesight a bit or I was having to use a light pad, that might be an issue. That might be an issue, so yeah, that's that's just something to to know about this canvas. So we've got loads of fives here, loads and loads. See it's it's not playing ball, it's like I, I, I've just loaded it up as well so I don't really understand it should be super sticky I don't know if it's the way that I'm picking up the diamonds but I've never had an issue before and I have tried a uh, different uh, tool to pick them up and I was having the same issue with them so you know I really am struggling and I'm someone who gets very very frustrated pretty easily if if it's not working it's, I, my brain just thinks it should work just work for me this is meant to be relaxing and if I'm sitting here constantly trying to pick up sometimes I struggle picking up two and other times it works just fine, it's strange see that time perfect and I don't think I changed the way that I picked them up then that's nothing to do with like the stickiness of the canvas or anything like that it's, just, it's to do with the drills I don't know if I need to try a different tool on the end of this maybe maybe it's too small or too large I don't know <laughs> don't know so it's worth that time for me let's move across see if it if it was working every time I'd be able to get through this unbelievably quick because with the block ones they are just easier to do and I've tried being more heavy handed, I've tried to be really really soft <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't and the rain stopped let's go for this one up here, there you go, I got a perfect one that time see it's strange and picked an extra one up on the opposite side so I won't do much of a uh, real time in this but again I'll just come back sporadically through the diamond painting process you know, whether that be a little bit of a time lapse uh, just speed it up or like a, a little bit of a talking one like this if I come across anything else that I think that I need to talk about regarding the drills or the canvas maybe I can figure out something to fix this issue maybe
So this is the very last section of this section. Section in a section. And I've had a little bit more look because I keep changing the the wax a little bit more often which is irritating. It is irritating having to take old wax out and put the new stuff in but it's not the end of the world and it's getting them drills down there a lot quicker as you can see I was really struggling beforehand and it's just every now and again now so let's get these like I say that and then I start struggling there's a random one there how long should I one single one here I've just been working in sections this size, so I'll do this one next and then I'll take the tape off and then work on that section as well. Monsters pop tape. These ones in particular, let's zoom out. These ones at the top, where's the camera? The really, really glittery ones. Let me move the canvas. Everything's everywhere. These really glittery ones here, they're really, really nice to place, really, really nice to place. But I will bring you out and show you where I'm up to. So as you can see, I'm making really good progress on this. I've just got this large section in the middle and then these two to do. So I'm hoping to finish these off today and possibly a thin section here. But yeah, I think the trick is to keep changing the wax a lot more often than I'm used to. But you can see how glittery. These are the drills that I'm talking about that are really easy to place. I don't know why. I don't know why. It must be the coating that's on them. But they're not like the OB ones. It's a different... The, the ones that I described, they look like jelly almost. Uh, so let's see how much I can get done today. So I finished it. So it took me a little over a week and a half-ish. Give or take a day. But yeah, it's completely finished. Now, I did find the trick with this one was using a lot of wax. I did use nearly two full waxes doing this, which uh, I've never done before. I've never done it. Once I'd got past the point of learning that, then it wasn't too bad. But you can see, especially with the OB ones in the whites, because I kept having to refill the wax, they're really difficult to place. It must be the coating on them. Uh, but all in all, I really did enjoy this. And I, these drills, these ones that I keep referring to them as jelly, they were an absolute dream to work with. They placed down beautifully. So I think I'll try and get it as dark as possible in here and show you the glow-in-the-dark aspect of it. Um, even without the glow in the dark I do think it's really really beautiful it was a nice size to do this it wasn't too overwhelming as well I'd have a couple of hours on it and then leave it I even left this I think for two days solid because I was working for something else on my uh, channel but yeah it was uh, it was I enjoyed doing it I enjoyed doing it so I'll try and get it as dark in here as possible uh, and show you what it's like so I have tried to get it as dark as possible it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon so it is what it is, I've shot all my blinds and stuff, but this is the darkest that I can get it at the moment. But I will use my little UV lamp here, and you can see the glow in the dark lines, and where all they all are. So it's all these areas, all around here. You can see how beautiful it is, so take it off, and the camera will pick up the colours, put it back on, and you'll be able to see the glow in the dark. And my dog, <laughs> and my dog. So I just want to go through the drills now, the drills what were left and what I thought of them as well. So I brought you right close down again. Uh, like I said, I did really enjoy doing this diamond painting. I did notice, I've just noticed now, that I might have to seal this one because there is a couple of areas uh, that the, the drill, not popping because they're too close to each other, maybe I've not pressed them down hard enough maybe that was the problem but uh, there was enough drills supplied as well I mean number 13 I've got a full container left of that 
I'm sure there's a load of black ones as well. I've got quite a few glow in the dark ones left so they'll get used in a different project. And a couple of the, the jelly ones that I absolutely love. There's the OBs and then the jellies. Let me find the jelly ones. I'm not going to be able to, there you go. I adore these. If I take a couple of them out, I wish other diamond painting companies made these. They really are beautiful and uh, nice to work with as well. I'm not going to be able to get these back in. Ta-da! So yes, so all in all, I really did enjoy it. I have um, done a unboxing of this diamond painting if you're curious and all the links and everything and discount codes are in that video so I will leave the link to that video in the description down below. So thank you again to Craft Ease for sending me this beautiful diamond painting. I did really really enjoy it and it was a nice uh, snack sized diamond painting considering some of the really really big ones that I do. So, yeah.